Alrighty, it's a day later and we are back. Let's go kill another motherfucker. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakul. Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. If you're finished, I've gathered the information required to begin my task. You work quickly. Tell me what you've learned. Abu Nakud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding that guy's like a two-faced fucking snake. Expect the merchant king when he comes out during his feast to speak with his people. Okay. Um, actually, for my own preparation's sake, give me one moment. You're back. Alrighty, and back, sorry about that. Need to get my affairs in order on my approach. Sounds like he's farting. They go against the will of God and must be made to pay. Everywhere they ride, they leave only they suffering in their wake. They say it is a crusade. A crusade for what? Okay. Ignorance, violence, madness. We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. My bad. I think I've seen everything now. This is the right area. For today only, I've decided to reduce prices on everything. Thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say, you, you, I beg of you, I beg of you, just a few God. coins, please. All right, move, lady. Before I, sh before I shank you too. The one who's done this. 
Where are you? I need What's food. this? I'm so Auto card, I'm card. And just sneak on through. He doesn't look very pleasant looking. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salahadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. How ominous sounding. <laughs> Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Well, this is taking a turn. Vain ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say. Or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion. Mercy. Tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. That had a total Jerry, I think our fellow Templar is going a little off script here. Moment. <laughs> Or vibe to it. All right, if I recall correctly, okay. Let's see if this plan works. All right. Pay for your sins. Okay. Go, 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 go.
Gotcha. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad dins cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. I ain't into dudes, bro, but I'm sorry I had to resort to this. Not what I meant to do. Get the fuck up. <laughs> on top. If I could get, thank you. All right. Anybody over here? No. God damn it, Altair. Please move. Who's around looking at me? Man! Damn it. <laughs> well, oh well. <laughs> Close enough. Piss off. Come on. Alright. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Didn't go quite as, you know, completely ghost-like as I had hoped, but good enough. <laughs> Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blame them for the war. 
said he wished to end it. Strange, but then again the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Assassination complete. Target has been eliminated. Return to Al Mualim. I forget it's okay. Uh, fast forward memory to Masia. Yes. I must admit, that actually went better than I was expecting. <laughs> Minus that, uh, finish. Which, yeah. Those are kind of hit or misses. Yeah. Fun times all around. <laughs> when you're out of knives, refill your stock. 